Imagine driving a truck through torrential rain, mud, and snow, then the next thing you know, your air system is clogged with moisture, and everything's running on empty. What if I told you there's a simple hero hiding in plain sight that keeps all that moisture and gunk from ruining your truck's air system? Welcome to the world of air dryers. They're the unsung heroes keeping your vehicle safe from rust, corrosion, and failure. Stick around as we break down how it all works, and why it's the secret weapon you need in your truck's battle against the elements. This is our first video in the series on pneumatic brakes. How does an air dryer work? Today, we're diving into the clever, behind-the-scenes magic of desiccant air dryers. So, let's set the stage. Air pumped from the compressor is moist and humid, not exactly what we want in the system. This air bursts through the inlet port of the air dryer, and right away, it's on a mission. It enters the desiccant canister where the real action happens. Here's where the desiccant itself works like a superhero sponge, sucking up all the unwanted moisture from the compressed air. The air moves from the outer edge of the canister to the center, removing every last drop of moisture. Now, let's split paths. A portion of this dry, compressed air takes a detour to fill up the purge tank. But the main airflow? It heads straight to the one-way check valve. This valve unseats, letting the clean air continue on to the four-circuit protection valve, where it's distributed across the truck's pneumatic system. Meanwhile, pressure is building downstream, and our good friend, the governor valve, is keeping a watchful eye. When the air tanks reach a solid 12.5 bar, it's time for the governor valve to do its thing. It springs open, and here's the kicker, it unseats the exhaust valve, venting excess air from the air compressor directly to the atmosphere. But there's a twist, the check valve snaps shut at the same moment. And here's the genius move, while this exhaust is happening, air from the purge tank flows backward through the desiccant canister, blowing all that captured moisture out through the exhaust valve. This clever purge keeps the desiccant ready and raring for the next cycle. When the system pressure dips below 12.5 bar, the governor valve closes, sealing the exhaust valve, and just like that, the whole process resets. That's how a desiccant air dryer quietly works to keep a truck's brakes and pneumatic systems in top shape, rain or shine. Types of air dryers. There's more than one way to dry out your air, and air dryers come in different shapes and sizes depending on the truck and its needs. Here are the main types. Desiccant air dryers, these are the most common, using a desiccant material to absorb moisture. Cycling air dryers, these use a filter and a special mechanism to periodically release moisture. Non-cycling air dryers, these are typically used in older systems and operate without a purge valve. They're simple but still get the job done. Each one has its perks, but desiccant air dryers are the MVP when it comes to preventing moisture damage in modern trucks. How to replace an air dryer. Now, let's talk about replacing your air dryer when it finally gives out. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Locate the air dryer you'll typically find it mounted to the frame near the air compressor. It's usually in the engine compartment or behind the cab. Disconnect air lines. Make sure you've bleed off the air pressure in the system. Disconnect the lines leading to the air dryer. Remove the old air dryer. Unscrew the mounting bolts, and carefully remove the old dryer. Install the new dryer. Put the new air dryer in place. Bolt it down, and reconnect the air lines. Test the system. Run the system and make sure the dryer is working as it should. You should hear a bit of air being purged as the system operates, this is normal. Once that's done, you'll have fresh, clean air running through your truck, and moisture won't be a problem anymore. Symptoms of a bad air dryer Here are some signs you shouldn't ignore. Excess moisture in the air system. If your truck is experiencing moisture buildup or water in the air tanks, that's the biggest red flag. Corrosion in the air system. Moisture can lead to rust, and rust can cause serious damage to the air tanks and lines. If you notice corrosion, your air dryer is probably not doing its job. Brake performance issues. If your brake system is sluggish or unresponsive, moisture could be freezing in the air lines, causing blockages. Frequent purging. If you hear your purge valve constantly going off, that could mean the desiccant is saturated and it's time for a change. See description for link to the playlist on pneumatic brakes.